this is the last video of this section or of this lesson I should say doing domain by hand now let's look at a formal definition of domain first the domain of a function is the set of all input values so let's highlight that red for because that and we know another word for input is the x values so we are looking for the x values for which the function is and here's our keyword defined we want to know where is the function defined so the two things we need to watch out for are the two places that make the function undefined so there are two situations where a function can be undefined number one if the denominator equals zero you cannot divide by zero that's illegal don't do it if we allow ourselves to divide by zero there's actually a proof out there that shows that one equals two but it only works if we can divide by zero we don't really want that so we just made a general rule don't divide by zero everyone will be much happier so if i'm looking for domain what i really want to look for is all the numbers where the denominator cannot be zero because if the denominator is not zero then everything else works the other place that is undefined that we need to watch out for is even roots must be greater than zero cannot have a negative number inside an even root like square root of negative 16 that is not going to work so we need denominators to not equal zero and we need even roots to be greater than zero if we have those two things our domain is set so for each of these examples we're going to check those two things so let's start with a first thing we check for is there a denominator in this problem there is no denominator we're good to go second thing we check for are there any even roots nope no even roots we are good to go because neither of our two situations apply we can then say hey look at that my domain is negative infinity to infinity i'm done meaning all reals i can do all the x values to the left i can do all the x values to the right and they all work i can plug all of them into here to get answers so let's look at b first off do i have a denominator hey yes look at that i do have a denominator so let's take our denominator and say we know that denominator cannot equal zero so two cannot equal zero well yeah two cannot equal zero that's kind of a well, duh moment right two cannot equal zero so because that doesn't really give us anything helpful we go mm, we're just going to ignore that doesn't really give us anything helpful we're good now we can go on to even roots no even roots we're good so that means once again my domain is negative infinity to infinity all x values work i can plug them all into that equation and they all give me an answer okay let's look at c first thing we check denominators yes i do have a denominator so that means i take that denominator and i say hey that denominator cannot equal zero well hey i can solve for x minus three to both sides so what we're saying is that x cannot equal negative three so x can be any number we want except for negative three because if i plug negative three into this denominator i'm going to try to divide by zero and that is undefined but any other number that works because we check here any even roots nope none so for my domain i need a way of saying i can plug in any x values except for negative three negative three is the only one that doesn't work 
x cannot be negative 3. So what I want to say is everything, so from negative infinity to infinity, except for the number 3. Now that means I can point 1. I could plug in 3.01. I can plug in 3.00001. That works. I just can't plug in 3. So another way of saying that is we just can't include 3. We can include barely to the left of 3. We can include barely to the right of 3. But we cannot include 3. The reason I say it like that is we have a math symbol that says not include. We talked about it in our earlier videos. If I do not want to include 3, I put a parenthesis on it. Now I'm going to do this fancy union thing, and then I want to go from 3 up to infinity. So basically this is saying I want from negative infinity up to infinity, I want all the numbers except I do not want to include 3. That's what we're saying. We want to go from negative infinity up to 3, and from 3 to infinity. But because these are parentheses, I do not want to include 3. So, hopefully that's enough about denominators. Let's look at D. Denominator, not happening. Even roots, yes. Anytime there's not a number on a square root, or on a root, you assume that it's a square root, an even root. So yes, I do have even roots. So let's remind ourselves, what's our rule? Even roots must be greater than zero. So come here, the inside of my even root must be greater than zero. So let's solve this. Negative x is greater than negative two divide by negative 1. Don't forget that when you're dividing by negatives, the sign flips. So my domain for this one is anything less than 2. Anything less than 2 works. If I try to put something bigger than 2 in here, I'm getting square roots of negatives. That's undefined. So for my domain, I want to say anything less than 2. Oh, guys, I totally made a mistake up here. Even roots aren't just greater than zero. Can't they also be equal to zero? I can do the square root of zero. That's zero. That works. So I totally forgot your even roots are greater than or equal to. Equal to works. So let's come back down here. My bad. Greater than or equal to. Greater than or equal to. Greater than and now less or equal to. So I want my domain to be anything less than 2, but to also include 2. So anything less than 2 goes down to negative infinity. And I want to go up to 2. And this little equal sign means I want to include it. Less than or equal to. That's my bracket. Okay, two more. Let's do this one. We have denominator, none, no denominators here. Even roots, none. This is an odd root. You can put negatives into odd roots. That works. That's okay. So this domain, because there's no even roots and no denominators, all reals, negative infinity to infinity. We're good. Okay, last one. Here, denominator. Check. So we're going to take our denominator and say this denominator cannot equal zero. That's the rule. It cannot be zero. Well, hey, this is a quadratic, which means, like we said before, for quadratics, Bring everything to one side and then try to factor it. Everything is already brought to one side, so that means right away we can try to factor it. So let's do, I want to multiply to negative 3, I want to add to 2, so it should be 
plus 3 and minus 1 because those two things multiply to negative 3 and they add to 2. Cool. So now I take these two things and I set them both to not be 0 and solve. So I get that x cannot be negative 3 and I get that x cannot be 1. Now double check real quick. Any even roots here? Nope. So my domain is everything except for negative 3 and 1. It can be anything else except those numbers. So once again, I am going to go from negative infinity up to positive infinity. I'm going to go up to negative 3, not include it. I'm going to go from negative 3 up to 1, not include it, and 1 to infinity. So this is saying all the numbers except don't include negative 3, don't include 1, because they're parentheses, so I don't include them. Okay, that is it on finding domain by hand, and that is all for 1.1. Congratulations on finishing your first lesson of 1050.